After I became 21, I told my father I'd like to do something else where I could talk to people because I uh, feel like it would be more fun. And uh, he said, well, it'd be okay with him, but he said, I, I really don't have any money to help you get into anything. I watched the newspaper, all the, the possibilities of businesses, and I saw a potato chip business for sale for $1,775. Really? He came into the law office, unbeknownst to me, on, and I, I saw him out there with this peroxide blonde and another man, and I thought, I wonder why he needs to see a lawyer. And... Uh, when, he, when Mr. Wenger came out of the office and said, Miss Hershey, make a note, a loan out to Tim Her for $1,775, I thought, I'm like, what kind of trouble are we in? <laughs> but at that night, he called me, and so he explained to me then that he bought a business. The key to the whole operation is the fact that in Psalm 37.4 was a very important verse for me where it says, delight thyself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. And uh, so I said, Lord, you know, I like that verse. I like that idea. I made a covenant with him. I'm going to try to delight myself in him and, and I'm going to expect him to give me the desires of my heart, which was business. But I didn't realize that he was going to increase it to the point he did. spend your life working next to somebody, you get to know them pretty well, where they're coming from, what they stand for, what they believe makes a difference in life. So while Dad always believed in us cutting potatoes, cutting corners just wasn't allowed. Dad was the epitome of the hard worker. He had a lot of energy and perseverance, and he was patient. He didn't give up. He had a strong determination. I often marvel at how Dad went from being an entrepreneur to a manager to a leader to the patriarch, not having the benefit of growing up in a business family. However, his father did teach him good principles, common sense, and the work ethic that goes along with farm life. And these provided the underpinnings of Dad's self-taught business education. I'll close with these words that were on a card we received. Our fathers depart, but never their love, and never the lessons they taught us, never their guidance, never their blessings, never the joys they brought us. How true that is, and I thank you, Dad, for a lifetime of love, lessons, guidance, blessings, and joy.